you know, it's, it's pretty much like being on a, a roller coaster. Um, your labs are doing these things, the internet is telling you this, there's not a lot of communication or, you know, there's not a lot of doctors who are trained in IGAN and who have that expertise knowledge. So you're just trying to find a community, just trying to find support. It's isolating. It's weird. It's like, you know, people meet you and they're like, oh, you look so healthy, you look so good. And that feels good. But then, like, there are just constant reminders that only you see. It just brings you back down in a way. It's always there, even when other people can't see it. And, you know, you, you deal with fatigue and you deal with, for me, like, depression and stuff like that because of it. When I first got diagnosed, my mind immediately went to, like, oh, I'm going to be needing surgery, I'm going to be needing a lot of medications, or I'm going to be needing to totally uproot my lifestyle or anything like that. Just being able to connect with people who really know more about what I'm going through than what I did um, has been helpful, calming, reassuring, and just knowing that like I can take small steps mm -hmm. just every day that's going to be helping me in the long run. So to be able to connect with other people who are struggling um, with the same disease, it was very, very helpful for me. To be able to have that empathy all around you um, and have that, you know, like the cheerleaders right there with you, it's, it's just been amazing. But it, it was very quickly evident that the IGAN Foundation was going to be my primary resource for help um, within my disease. The IGAN Foundation is not only helpful, but they're good at communicating the help. They really are tying people to the most important resources, most recent clinical trials or different drugs that have come out that are really helpful to slow the progression. We're not alone in this journey and then every, everybody's different. I'm not just a data point for researchers, I'm a person holistically. Like we have a family, we have other likes and dislikes, we have other stuff that make us tick. The disease doesn't define us.